Welcome to turn-based tutorial using Notorious Visual Scripting. We'll need a couple of things to get started. Uh, a 1x1 one one hex, a turret cannon of some sort with an, uh, some kind of F FX, player character with mechanicum compatible walking animation, a few sound effects, lean tween or some other tween, I tween plugin, and of course Notorious. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create a script. We're going to just create a normal mono behavior script, put it into the root directory. Normally I'd put that somewhere else, but that's good for this tutorial. And we're going to call this hex base. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and create that. We're going to go ahead and uh, remove the update class. We're not going to need that. And um, we're going to add a, a number of other functions. Let's uh, go ahead and just add them all now. Click, click, click. And then we'll go back and rename them. Um, the first one we're going to go ahead and rename is going to be on mouse start or enter not on mouse enter next one uh, we'll go ahead and type in on mouse uh, exit next one we'll go ahead and uh, do uh, on mouse down and then on mouse up go ahead and do that next thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, add our var variables uh, so I think we're going to have like five of them. Let's go ahead and just click add and then uh, we're going to go ahead and rename them all and then we'll go ahead and uh, change type. So the first one we have is original position. The next one we're going to go ahead and create is a uh, new position. Here's how we would uh, go ahead and set those. Just set the first two real quick. Vector threes. We're going to go ahead and get the Y. We'll want the Y position, so new position Y, original position Y. And then we're going to uh, add a variable here for the camera object. The positions are uh, floats, and the camera object is a game object. So go ahead and select those. There we go. So now it looks like we're uh, ready to start. So we're just going to go ahead and grab a few of these that we know we're going to need. Uh, I do notice that we're in the on mouse up right now, so we will have to copy and paste this out at some point, but uh, it's fine for now. We'll go ahead and uh, put our little uh, widgets together. So uh, we have original position, original position Y, and the camera object. Go ahead and grab those. Save and compile real quick just to make sure everything's still working fine and no errors. There we go. Reposition our window so we can see kind of the the code on the right hand side once it does compile. Make sure uh, things look decent anyways. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and link these up together. Um, it's really just setting up variables and such, so uh, we know that it's going to go through each of these pretty quickly. And um, so we'll start with um, original position, the, the transform. There's the transform. And then we're going to uh, grab the transform position. There we go. Plug those two together. And there we have our original position. So uh, we are saving the original position to the position of the actual game object. We're going to go ahead and set up the, the Y position as well, uh, separately as a vector 3. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab that. There's the vector 3 Y position. It's the same object, so we'll just grab it from there. And then uh, we'll set the original y, uh, position Y to that value. And then for the cam camera object, we're just going to go ahead and uh, find it with a tag. And we're going to find the main camera. Uh, it's the only camera in the scene, but uh, yeah, so that works fine. There we go. Plugged up and connected. Good. So notice I said we were in the mouse up, so we're going to go ahead and uh, copy this. Uh, put it in the on start. That was my uh, bad. So paste it there. We go link it up to the on start. Delete 
what I did on, on mouse up. There we go. So uh, save compile just to make sure everything looks good. Great. No errors. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and do the on mouse enter. What happens uh, when we click? Uh, basically what we're doing is setting up the functionality of the the hex object uh, or what would be the the game board. Uh, what we will need to do is enable uh, C sharp first pass. Uh, we're going to need to get some lean tween um, information which I believe is uh, in that first pass. We need some math nodes. I went ahead and said that as a favorite because uh, that's used often. So there we go. I said as favorite. Drag that in. <clears throat> so what happens when we uh, do mouse enter? It's gonna um, take the original position and um, and modify that a little bit into the new position. So it's gonna there we go. Adjust that so we can see it nicely. one way to do it. I think there's a couple of other ways to connect that one in. We'll do it that way. <clears throat> Save compile. Good. And here's where we're going to have the, the lean tween portion of it. So um, go ahead and grab a lean tween. Move. Connect it in. There. So now uh, we'll actually move the object how we want to move it, we'll be using the original position and uh, the new position that we uh, set up. So, grab the game object. Uh, what's going to be affected is the hex itself. So, that's that. We'll grab the new position Y, where it's going to go. There we go. And uh, the time it takes to do that will be uh, 0.3. We'll add some uh, notes in here on what we're doing. I like to comment things so I actually know what, what's going on later on. And we'll go ahead and save Cabal, make sure there's no errors. Looks like things uh, went fine. Great, so we'll go ahead and do on mouse exit now. Uh, we'll grab the lean tween move. We can copy that from the other one or uh, we'll go find it. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and grab the game object again. Connect that up. This is the mouse uh, on mouse exit, so basically putting it back to its original position uh, after we exit. Go ahead and uh, comment this one as well. There we go. Save compile. No errors. Good. Go on down to the next one on mouse down. There we go. <clears throat> this one's probably the, the more complicated of the, the four new functions that we. Uh, have here. So on this one we're going to have to create a new variable which I forgot about. It's the selected hex. So we're going to make that as a game object. Um, and I put it at the top just so, it, I mean that's the main variable I forgot. So um, there we go. We drag that in. Um, we're going to need to identify what you know we're selecting. So the game object there. We're going to uh, set that to the selected hex. We're going to also need the, the Y positions. So we'll go ahead and get the new Y position, the original Y position. So this is what happens when we click on uh, the actual hex, like on mouse down, right? So um, setting some of these up here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and need a math operation. Uh, how far the, the hex goes down, up and down um, when we click on it. It's a little, we're going to have to right click on that guy, I believe. And we're going to go ahead and just set him to directly to a float of 0.1. So it basically goes down and up 0.1. <clears throat> so 
So we're going to feed that into the lean tween move local uh, y. Feed that the game object that's the original position and the new position. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop those in. And you line everything up. My OCD gets a little better of me there. I'll go ahead and plug them on in. On this one, we're going to ease in and ease out, or ease in um, the sign. So grab the. I'm going to go ahead and grab the ease in from lean tween and kind of uh, put that as the result, and then plug the original Y and new Y into the the ease in sign. There we go. Change these values to 0.3. And uh, link up the new position, and we link up to return. And I think that looks about it. Go ahead and add my uh, comments so I'll, uh, I know what the heck I'm doing later on. <coughs> There's my set vars and my tween down. Great, good. Go ahead and uh, save and compile this, and uh, make sure there's no errors. One item that I did forget here that we will need to do something with the camera object when we uh, click on it. So we haven't made the, any camera object script yet. So um, we're going to go ahead and just leave a note to, to come back to that later. Now we'll go ahead and save and compile. Great. Now the last item on mouse up. What happens when we uh, unclick it? And really, we just move the lean, tween it back to its original position. So the concept being, you you hover over it, it kind of goes down. You click on it, it goes more down. And then you either um, hover off of it or unclick, and it goes back to its original position. So go ahead and drag in the game object, the new Y, and the original Y positions. We'll go ahead and get the lean tween move local Y. Um, we'll go ahead and connect in the, the game object. Change that to point 0.3, connect it in. I'm going to go ahead and do the ease in and ease, at, uh, ease in again. So go ahead and grab that ease in sign from um, Lean Tween. Oop, I grabbed the wrong one there. Uh, make sure you grab the right one. Uh, connect that in, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, connect in the new Y position and the original Y position. And uh, change that value to 3.3, 3, and um, there we go. Just rearrange this so it's all a little bit more organized, I guess. And uh, there we go. Good. All right, save and compile. Great. So far, no errors. Good. So a couple of modifications I needed to make. I need to change this over here uh, to point one, and I need to change this one over here to point uh, negative point one, um, and that was on the on mouse enter. Um, I forgot to fill, fill those values in. So now we go back to the scene um, and add our game object. All the values look there. That's good. And we push play. See what happens. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Good. That's, uh, that's what we're looking for.